been singing for many, many years. We've sung through our triumphs, we've sung through our tears. We've sung about Jesus and God's amazing grace. But this could be the last song we sing in this place.
then we shall meet him in that bright mansion. We'll understand it all by and by. Farther along we'll know all about it. Cheer up, my brother, live in the sunshine, we'll understand it all by and by, we'll understand And you're listening to Alan Presley's Promotions right here on the WOTG Radio Network, and we're on Facebook, too. And, folks, we're glad to be here, and I hope you've had a good weekend. And now we're drawing down to the close, starting our new week and getting ready for the work week, you know. And But when we go, we're still representing the Lord and representing God. And we're so glad to be here and proud to have you on board listening tonight, regardless of where you at. You always welcome to Alan Presley Promotions. And if you'd like to be a part of this program, keep this program going, where we try to share the truth and, and play some great songs honoring God. You, here's our mailing address. If you'd like to be part of it with a financial offer and donation, that helps us to get things going, help us to improve things and make things even better. Here's our mailing address, Alan Presley, 611 Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's that address again, Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. We're going to have a special call-in guest tonight, and we uh, we tell you who it's going to be. Tony Bourne of Oakland Baptist Church is going to be calling in here about 830. But we got a reason for him calling in here tonight. We're going to do something special. I don't know how many programs you've seen this do, uh, seen it done, what we're going to do tonight. But we're going to, we're going to do something a little different. And what we're going to do tonight is going to be a Bible way. It's going to truly be a Bible way and what God has told us to do. So we want you just to stay tuned and listen. And before it's over with, we may have another call in tonight. I don't know, that's not definite, but there's a possibility. Because, hey folks, we're going to do something right here. God has laid this on my heart this afternoon that we do this. And when I feel like God wants me to do something, and the scripture pops in my mind, we're going to do it. And folks, we're going, we're going to do something special. So you got to stay tuned for it. It's going to take place probably about 8.30 tonight. And you know, I'm looking forward to seeing Jesus come. And we know that Jesus is soon coming one day. And I don't think it's going to be that much longer. Because look at the signs of the time are here. And we can see all the Bible fulfilling. It just about fulfilled except one thing. Did you know that? And that one thing is the coming of the Son of God. That's about all that's left. And I believe it's knocking right at our door. And I hope tonight, if you're not a Christian, that you do not put it off anymore. You know, I don't believe in gambling, and we shouldn't gamble because that's wrong. But you know, every time that you don't get saved, and you don't, you don't give your life to God, 
You're gambling. You're gambling on your life. You're gambling on your soul that you're going to get another day. But the writer in God's word said, Boast not thyself of tomorrow, for we know not what tomorrow will bring forth. You don't know if you're going to be here tomorrow or not. You don't know if you're going to be here at the end of this program. There's nothing that promises you no more life. So I believe if I was you, I'd, give, I'd get saved tonight and get right with God. And one of these days, it's going, it's going to happen. When we're going to see the saints arise, we're going to see the graveyards bust open and the saints come out and be called up to meet the Lord in the air. Listen to the Kingsman Quartet as they sang this great song. Fresh on me, I feel the joy of the Lord. 
honor that you are here listening with us. And we just want to encourage you tonight to message in your prayer request. Let us know what you have need of. We would love to pray and agree with you that great things are going to happen. And we just want to thank you so much for supporting Alan Presley Promotions and WOTG Radio. And here we go with the next group is a group called Oasis. The saying next is the Old Friends Quartet.
Glenn here in Nashville, Tennessee. We're glad to have these folks' music. The Rangers Quartet. Take a listen. <laughs> Church Hymnal 2, and this next thing coming up is in our two. I think it's number 18 in that book, Looking for a City, and the Rangers Court that does that too, so we, we're going to get that while we're right here tonight. Take a listen. <laughs> This is Rick Bradley, bass singer for the Rangers Quartet. 
I would just like to thank all of our friends out there in Radio Land for listening to our music here on WOTG. We appreciate Brother Allen here at the station so much for the support he has given us and for playing our music. Most of the songs that you will hear the Rangers sing are traditional Southern Gospel songs from years past, with an occasional new song written by one of our quartet members. If you do enjoy our music and would like to have us come by and sing at your church or special event, please visit our website, rangersquartet.com, and click on the contact page. Or you may also reach me direct by calling area code 615-308-8991, and I will be happy to answer any questions that you might have. May God's richest blessings touch each and every one of you is my prayer. And folks, we got coming up to sing right now the Primitive Quartet. <laughs> I was on the radio, on the radio, started on the radio tonight, and we couldn't do anything, but they sent us a little extra stuff in here 
that we will have it on the program tomorrow night. Good Lord willing, the creek don't rise. We'll be sharing that with you too tomorrow night. Here we go with the Joyful Hearts right up there in the state of Michigan. <laughs> We got our call-in guest tonight, Brother Tony Boring from up in Murrville, Tennessee. And he goes to the Oakland Baptist Church up there where Pastor Gary Hawley is pastor. And we're going to put him on the air right now. Hello, Brother Tony. Hey, Brother Allen. How are you, sir? Hey, doing just fine. We're glad to have you on board here tonight. And we got you to come on tonight because we want to do something here a little special tonight that we had never done before here right on the air, but it's always the first time when it comes to the Bible, right? That's right, sir. And we uh, follow God's word, we're always right. Amen, brother. And uh, we, you know, and, and this special prayer that we're going to have, uh, we, we're praying for everybody, you know, and everybody's problems, everybody's needs for the lost people. And all of that. But Brother Tony, we got a man that is called in here on our program. And he was a guest on our program overnight. And he shared his testimony. He shared his burden. He's a singer too. But he's a good, he's a great Christian man. And he, you know, he called for us. You know, and I and the Lord laid this on my heart this afternoon. I've been thinking about this, Brother Tony. He called for us, the church people and the people out here, for help. And we're going we we're going to help him on this program. And that's Brother Jimmy Putman. Okay. He, he's needing a kidney transplant, and he's, his heart is still in the work of God and working for God. I've talked to him several times, and we, we through his conversation, Alan Presley Promotions loves that guy, and he's got a need out there. And I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Linda, Sister Tony, read a few verses where everybody can hear these verses. And we we Brother Tony, we're going to try to do exactly what God has told us to do in his word. 
And, and Linda, we want you to read those verses right now. In the book of James, right? Right. James uh, chapter 5. Okay. Uh, it starts with in 13, uh, verse 13. If any among you afflicted, let him pray. Is any merry, let him sing song, psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. And Brother Tony, that's what God has told us to do. And Brother Jimmy Putman has called for us our help in our prayers. And we want to pray that God will touch him. I know we don't have the oil. We don't have him in front of us. But all of us can band together on this program and pray for Brother Jimmy that God might touch him. And Brother Tony, you're the man that God laid on my heart to call and pray. And I'm asking everybody out there to gather around this camera or whatever you're watching this program on. And you can touch that camera or you can touch whatever you got or touch just kneel and bow and pray and do something and pray for this man that wants to do God's work and pray for it being God's will that God will touch this man. And now we were doing, uh, Tony, what God has told us to do too. Right. And Tony, if you got anything to say tonight, we want you to say it and we want you to be the one that leads us in this prayer. Amen, brother. If everybody would like to just take a moment and, uh, and, and bow or take a knee, however you want to do it, whatever everybody wants to do, whatever they're comfortable with, I just ask that you, that you pray with us when we make this prayer. You know, just don't don't let me be the only one praying. Let's, let's let everybody be, the, be prayer warriors out there tonight. You know, if you have faith in God, let's all pray together. And when you're ready, I will, we'll, we'll start. Amen. Go ahead, Tony. Kind, gracious, heavenly Father, as we come before you tonight, dear Lord, we've got one in need, Father. You know, the, you know the person, Father. You know his need, Father. You know, the, you know the situation, Lord, with the, with what he's going through and needing that transplant, Father. Lord, you know that there'll be one out there, Lord Jesus, if it be your will, Father. If it be your will whatsoever, Lord, we just ask, Lord Jesus, that you lay the one before him, Lord Jesus, that's going to provide that that need of that transplant, Lord. Father, the one that's going to, the one that's going to give that organ, Father, that will help this individual, Lord Jesus. Lord, you know, you know the love that we have for you, Father. We know the love that you have for us. Lord, without you, we're nothing. Father, if you had to send your only begotten Son, that we could, we could have a way out, Father, a way of being forgiven and a way of making it into heaven, Father. Without you, for Lord, we're nothing. Father, you're everything we have. Lord Jesus, we just ask that you lay that, that hand of comfort upon on each of us tonight, Father. As we pray out to you, Father, Lord, that you just touch touch Mr. Jimmy Putnam, Father. Lord Jesus, in a way, Lord, that he'll be comforted, knowing, Father, that your will be done in all ways and all things, Father. Lord, we love you. Father, if there be others out there that need you tonight, Lord, we just ask that you touch them. Father, if there be one that needs to open their heart and receive you, Father, we just ask, Lord Jesus, that they open up. Lord, just allow you to come into their heart, Father. Lord, allow you to prevail in their life, Lord. Father, with you, more, all things are possible. Without you, Lord, nothing is. Lord, we just need you more today than we've ever needed you before. Lord, we need you to take care of this, this country we live in, 
Amen. Thank you, Brother Tony. Tony, you got anything you want to say? Brother, we had some awesome services at our church tonight, and if, if anybody got to got to see them, uh, we had a little difficulty this morning with our live feed, but uh, we, we I did get it on, on my page. If anybody wants to go back and look at it, and I think uh, Pastor Hall and a few others have shared that. But we had this afternoon service on our normal live feed. Uh, we had some great services today. You know, we are blessed at Oakland Baptist Church. We are blessed in more ways than one. God is working in that church. God is there with us in that church. You know, it, it's just good to know that we can still have churches out there today, Brother Allen, that teach and preach the Word of God. Amen. There, there's no sugarcoating it. There's no taking away from or adding to. It's, it's straight what God's Word is. And, and I'm glad we still have preachers and, and teachers that, that are not afraid to stand up for that and, and preach and teach what's in the Word of God. You know, Pastor Holly's an awesome, awesome pastor. Uh, he, he takes the church very serious. He's very loving to each and every one there. But, you know, he, he at the same time is not going to sugarcoat this Bible in any way. You know, we're not, we're not here to, to preach this Bible and sugarcoat it to make people feel good. We're here to teach what's in God's Word, Amen. what God wants us to know, what God wants us to do, and how God wants us to live our life. We have an awesome God. Couldn't ask for a better one. He's always been there. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. He's always by our side. Amen. Brother Allen, it's always a pleasure to be on the program whenever we have an opportunity. And uh, Brother Jimmy, you know, we just hope that God blesses you, brother, and, you know, and in God's will, things will, will take place. Amen. And Brother Tony, you tell uh, uh, Jordan and Tanya, we said hello, we love them. Looking forward to y'all coming back sometime. We, we love you all just as well, brother. And we, we, you know, we wish the best for you and Sister Linda. And we'll try to make our way back down there as soon as we, as soon as we can make time, brother. Thank you, brother Tony. We're going to get off here, Tony, and we're going to listen to a few songs of this Jimmy Putman sang for us. Amen, brother. Uh, thank you, Tony. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. And folks, it's been great being here tonight, and we love Brother Jimmy Putman, and we praise God that God put us in contact with each other. And we got coming up to sing Brother Jimmy Putman. And he's going to sing that song, Anybody Homesick for Heaven. Okay, let's take a listen.
got another song coming up by Jimmy Putman. Linda, uh, can you see the name on that song? I'm not. I'm not going to let her rock. I'm not going to let her rock. Take a listen to Brother Jimmy as he sings this song, folks. And we hope our program's been a blessing to everybody. We believe in letting go and letting God around here, and that's what we do. I'm not going to let a rock do what I can do. I'm not going to let a rock do what I can do. Step of the way, and I know. 
<coughs> Excuse me, folks. I think we got a <coughs> never call in guest here, and we're gonna put them on the line. Let's see who it is. Okay, here we go. Hello, you on WOTG Radio Network? Who we got there? This is Jimmy Putman. Hey, Hello, brother Larry. Jimmy. We're glad to hear from you tonight. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Brother Tony. Thank you, everybody. Love y'all. 
I love this program, Brother Allen and Sister Linda. Thank you all so much, and God bless you. I've been looking forward to to see you again. Hey, Thank you, Brother. Brother Jimmy, is your yes, wife sir. named Pauline or Paulette or something? No, my wife's name is Betty, and, and Paulette, you see it on there, Paulette Putman, that's my sister-in-law. Oh, okay. I requested friends with her. I didn't know what your wife's oh, name good. was. That's good. Yeah. And she accepted me, too. Yeah, we're good people down here. We we love the Lord. We're good people, and, and God's blessed us a lot. But this right here, Brother Allen, and, oh, my, what a gift. What a gift to have Jesus on your side and have so many Christian friends. And, and this Brother Tony... I'm going to shake his hand one day and hug his neck because I know, you know, Alan, just like you said, God led you to do this. And I, when you're led by the Spirit, my goodness, it just blesses your heart. Amen. Brother, brother Jimmy, this afternoon I was thinking about you and yes. it seemed like God just spoke to me and told me to do that. That scripture come Praise to my Lord. mind and I got my wife to read it. and. Yes. and we done exactly what God told us to do. You know, this program here, I want everybody to hear this. This program here is not by no accident. God don't work on accidents. God is blessing everyone that listens here tonight and every night. We're, we're tackled by the old Satan here on this earth. But one day we're going to rejoice. We got something to sing and praise, praise God for. And I, I just, I'm so thankful. I love y'all so much. I can't tell you how much I love y'all. And uh, we've just been friends for a short while. But God brought us together, Brother Allen. And Amen. I'm so thankful. Amen, brother. And bro, Brother Thank Jimmy, so much. we love you. And we we, we, we we real glad that God got us together. And, yes, and you got you got a lot of friends right here on this program, and I Brother Tony Boring, Gary Hawley, and uh, everybody yes. listening out there is your friend, and we love you from a bottom of our heart. Boy, what a blessing! <laughs> love y'all too, everybody, all my friends. Uh, God bless. God bless you too. We'll let you go, Brother Jimmy, and get okay. back some more music, and who knows. God may move this mountain, you know, and we can oh, see yes. souls saved. Love you, Jimmy. Oh, yes. Can you, uh, let me say this. Can, can okay. you just imagine, can you just imagine when I receive that kidney? Oh, what a testimony I'm going to have. <laughs> you know, God's led me to all of these years with this, and I went ahead and sung with it anyway. But God, now we're, we're at the point. But do you know something? I, I'm going to come back on that, st that show there. And uh, I'm a little shaky, I know, but, you know, I I'm so blessed. I, I can't help it. But I'm going to come back and I'm going to give my testimony how he carried me through the valley. And he won't just get you by, my friend. He'll, he'll see us through. And I believe in prayer. Amen. One, one, one more time. God bless. God bless, bless you, too. Love you, brother Jimmy. Bye-bye. Yeah, And man, it's been great being here tonight on Alan Presley Promotions. See, folks, that's what we try to do. We try to honor God. We try to let go and let God have his way. And that's what we're here for. And we do the best we can and we to honor God and serve God. Even when the devil is attacked, and we still try to stay faithful to God and love him because victory is promised on the other side. Thank you, Brother Jimmy. Thank you, God. I didn't know he was going to call in. He didn't really know. He didn't know I was going to do what we was going to do tonight, but God laid that on my heart. I called Brother Tony. Got a hold of Brother Tony. He's still in church, and I've seen him was standing. I've I seen he was sitting there tonight at Oakland Baptist Church in the uh, uh, program that their church puts on the Internet. I seen Brother Tony. I sent Tony a message while he's sitting in church. He didn't look at the message. He was on his way home. And he called me. I told him to call me. 
and it seemed like God spoke to my heart and said, Tony's the man. So I called Tony. And we and the scripture hit my mind this afternoon. And I got Linda to look it up so she could read it for me. And folks, we done what the Bible said. We love Brother Jimmy. And Jimmy got a hold of me. And he sent me some music. And it, it arrived here. And he, he, he contacted me. And that's what the Bible said. He said, call for the elders of the church. Well, we're part of that church because we're born again and we have Jesus in our life. And we're, we're part of that church called for the elders. Well, I'm one of the elders. Tony Bourne's an elder. Gary Hawley's an elder. And we know that we notified everybody. Tony was get a hold of Brother Gary. And we all was praying for him. And he did what he did say he did. What the Bible told him to do. Brother Jimmy called for the elders. And what we did, we prayed for him. And folks, we love people. We love God. And I just hope, man, I just hope and pray that if you don't know Jesus. The night will be your night to get saved. There's nothing like having a God that we got and one we serve. Thank God for him. We got Clifford Atkins coming up to sing at this time. Let's take a listen. Let's rail back and have a good time. Hit, I see buttons going up everywhere. and Let's hit the shower button and let the world know we're here for real. <laughs>
friend of ours down in Louisiana, Greg Sullivan. <laughs> Church where Pastor exactly. Gary Hall is pastor, huh? Exactly four weeks from today. Four weeks from today, Lady Presley said. Four weeks. Hey, by the way, I like to see the buttons go up and we give Lady Presley a hand because she helps us out and keeps me straight right here. Straight as a pork. I see the buttons going up, flying up like I crazy. I don't see none. Huh? I don't see any. Yeah, yours is on delay, all right. Hey, look over there on mine, old. Look at all them buttons are going up and down. I still ain't going up on mine. I'm going to have to refresh my page. Well, hey, it'll be up in a minute because you're on delay. Hey, you really, you you believe the camera sitting here about probably two foot apart. It's not three foot. And there's two, about a two minute, probably two minute delay in watching herself on the monitor. 
But yeah, the the buttons are going up, lady. You see them yet? Not on mine. <laughs> Let me refresh. My but we brain. we we appreciate Lady Presley for keeping us straight and helping us. And folks, we appreciate you. And even you help keep us straight out there too. But at Oakland Baptist yeah. Church, there, huh? There's uh, some time that I can't keep you straight. Well, see, I can't keep her straight either. You know when that is? When? When I'm asleep. When she's asleep. <laughs> But anyway, folks, at Oakland Baptist Church, hey, where's that at? 3501. Yeah, I just wanted to make Old sure Niles you knew the address. Yeah, right there in Marble, Tennessee, on Old Niles Ferry Road. Pastor Gary Hawley's a pastor. He's got Ernie Dawson, man. You ought to hear Ernie Dawson airline sing, man. They turn you on, just about turn you upside down, you hear them guys say. But they're going to be at Oakland Baptist Church at 11, uh, P 11 a.m. I started to say 11 p.m. Maybe they sang 12 hours. They might, who knows, get carried away. They're going to be at Oakland Baptist Church on that Sunday morning of March the 10th. You do not want to miss it, I promise you. I got a bunch of videos on Ernie Dawson and Ireland and and man, they do a great job. And man, they're going to be there. A lot of other groups is coming there and scheduled to be there. The Kaufmans, the Exodus, and uh, and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I've, I've got who else. And man, I tell you what, they, it's going to be an exciting time that day. And man, they, they got one just about every month this year lined up. And he may even have the Scrap Barn Quartet booked up for long. And who knows? Who knows what's going to happen up there with Pastor Gary Hawley. Hey, who we got coming up to sing now? We know this group. we coming in, up there in yeah. Oakland Baptist Church in April. We're going to be up there for about this is four the, services in, in Marvel area. This is a new song that we got in last week, and I, I got it downloaded to the system. So we want everybody to guess who this is singing. Do what now? We want everybody to guess who this is that's singing. Yeah, we ain't going to tell you who this is. This new song that we got got in here this last week. And uh, we're going to see who can guess it. And Gary said he give, gave his preachers a three-minute warning tonight. Do what now? He gave his preachers a three-minute warning tonight they would be preaching. When when they will be preaching? So, uh, Tony put on there and said they don't give us time to even get any notes. <laughs> hey, you know what my pastor used to tell me? He just like pastors I had over the years. You know the Bible said, "Be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine." And my pastor would call on me like at the last minute to preach. He said, always be ready. That's right. Always be ready. You never know when you're going to have to preach. Always be ready. You never know when you're going to have to witness to somebody and lead them to Christ too. Pastor Holly, I give you a handshake and shake your hand. They'll always might, be ready. Huh? He might even give you a button. He might, might be. Uh, yeah, if he's got his shirt buttoned wrong, we'll take one of the buttons off and uh, put it on my shirt and save it for you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey. So you guys out there, you better appreciate your pastor because you. He, that's what Tim, Paul told Tim. Be instant in season now. So you be ready to preach when you don't feel like preaching. You be ready to preach where you feel good or where you don't feel good. And he said, reprove, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And that's what the, Paul told young Timothy to do. And folks, Gary Hawley is telling you right. So I'll say amen to him. I'll back him. Who, who's singing this song? I want to see who sang it, knows who's singing this song. Take a listen. The new song.
song don't you right uh, that's a good song learning to lean on jesus and uh and 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 the guy that the guy that's singing this song i'm not going to tell you who all got it right i know some of them has i, I say this tanya got it right probably a few more than they linda uh yeah but uh i think I, you know I, uh, but yet hey the guy that's singing this song the guy that's singing this song is on this program, right? Oh, uh, yeah, but uh, I don't know if he said anything yet or not. But if he's on here and he's listening, I think he, well, he was a minute ago. Oh, he is. Yeah, he uh, is. Hey, hey, and, and, and this guy, the, you know, if he don't call in here, we're going to consider he don't even know his own self. <laughs> if he don't call in here, we're going to consider he don't even know his own self when he hears his own self. And I guess you know what that means. The guy that wrote, sung his song and the group that sung his song is on this program now. I'm asking him to call call my lumber and call in here right now. In fact, I got to listen to a little bit more of that song, man. I like that well, song. Well, you better give him the number. He may not remember. He might be like you. He might forget what the number is. 423-271-6200. Four two three two seven one six two four seven. Lady, I gotta listen to more of this song. <laughs>
Hey folks, we got on the line here. The guy that was singing that song is Greg Loggins in Revival. We got Brother Greg hanging on the line right now. We're going to put him on. Hello, Brother Greg. Hello, hello, how are you? Doing just fine. How are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, just fighting this cold weather up this way, but uh, other than that, we're still kicking praise in the Lord and just feeling the presence of God. We're just excited. Hey, Brother Greg, we are excited too. Hey, I've been talking to some other church that's had you for about two or three years in a row down here in Tennessee too. And Brother Greg, you going to you've been going to Sparta, Tennessee too, haven't you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'll be down in that way. Uh, we've been in Sparta. We've been up in McMinnville, and uh, I've got a couple phone calls to come into uh, back into some other parts of uh, Tennessee. When we came out of Knoxville about two or three weeks ago, uh, it was awesome. So we uh, have a couple churches that want to bring us back. But like I said, we just love your hospitality and. Yeah, I know. We, I've been talking to that church some on the Facebook. First, it's Church of God in Sparta, Tennessee. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, they told me that they you've been over there two or three years in a row with them. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We're excited. Uh, uh, we're excited. Looking forward to coming back. Yes, sir. And we're looking forward to you being back down here in April, too. You, you're going to be down here about four different churches, I think. carrying the name of Jesus with you and telling them about Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, and yes, Brother sir. Greg, it was an honor to see you on the program tonight, and we did get those new songs. Sergeant Elaney, soon be Lieutenant Elaney, she's doing a great job. She's even making some of her ads for us now. Well, yeah, you know, we, I appreciate her. I appreciate uh, all of that workforce over there. They have been They've been, truly been a blessing to us, and uh, I'm just grateful we're able to connect and be able to spread the gospel. Um, we're excited. We, we are really excited, and uh, like I said before, uh, we're, we're looking forward to God to do something great in this upcoming year for, for our country. And, and Sylvia helps, too, I think, and we need to, we just get, need to get that, well, I hate to say this, Sergeant Laney says she's chicken. <laughs> but I, I understand that, you know, you can get a little bit frightened, you know. And, you, you know, it, sometimes you might, it might make you a little nervous, a little scared, but I think she'll get over that very soon. Well, we're going to keep praying. One thing I know prayer changes any situation. That's right. We're going to keep praying. And Brother Greg, we love you. We appreciate you calling in here Thank tonight, you. too. Thank you. Thank you. And we're going to yes, continue sir. to play your music of Greg Loggins and Revival. And Brother Greg, anytime you go around and you want to call, 
Pick the phone up and call. Yes, sir. But I thank you for the invite. Like I said, I was actually just getting back in, and uh, we had to, uh, uh, I preached this morning, had to sing uh, actually this morning as well, and uh, this afternoon. And so um, my voice is trying to, uh, fighting this cold weather, it's kind of acting up a little bit. But I was just looking through, and I saw the invite and came in, and man, lo and behold, I heard a familiar voice on your radio show. Yeah, I can tell your voice is a little bit weak or not too. But yes, Brother Greg, yes, we we love you, appreciate you. Love you too. And anything we can do to help you, you let us know anytime. Yes, sir, and at any time and uh well you do the same and I haven't forgot about the um the uh the drops I'm gonna do for you. It'll be this week. I'll get them to you. Um I've actually gotta go to the studio. Uh we're getting ready to put out a new single. And I'll get that to you as well. Okay. So, um, uh, well, this week, you should be looking for that. And the new album, the uh, Rough Side of the Mountain, and um, a couple other things, other songs that we're going to do, um, that Brother Charles used to do, that we're looking to push it back. And it's going to be either late March or early April. We, we should have it out. Appreciate that, Brother Greg. We Thank appreciate you, you. And we love you. Thank you. We're going to let you go, and we, we want you to take care of that voice, too, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. Love you, sisters, and I love you all, you all. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Greg. Yes, sir. We're going to let you go. We're going to listen to another song, too. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Here we go. Man, isn't that great? Man, what a Sunday night we've had. We did, before we started tonight, we did, uh, you know, uh, up to about an hour. What well, wasn't already on the radio? We didn't even have nobody calling in here. Tony Bourne's called in here. Jim Putman is called in here. Now Greg Loggins. How much more can we stand? Man, I love this, man. We're going to listen to Greg Loggins' revival, sing one of these other new songs, and listen to this song. It's the first time we played this in two weeks. No, we played it the other night. Okay. Second chance. Take a listen. <laughs> Thank you. 
this is Greg Sullivan. You are listening to the best in gospel music with my good friend Alan Presley and Alan Presley Promotions on the WOTG Radio Network, Sweetwater, Tennessee. And Lady Presley, who's this coming up to sing next? Jim Visor. And uh, he talked about coming here, but I know where he's been the last few days, though. He's been on a cruise out there in the Gulf of Mexico out in there somewhere. I hope he gets back. He got that big pond over there, you know. He's been out messing around that pond over there, out there somewhere, but maybe he'll get back and he talk he talk like he's coming back here. I don't know. It may be just any day now. But here's Jim Visser singing the old rugged cross. Take a listen. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time, and folks, we've had a great time here tonight on Alan Presley Promotions, and like I said in the beginning, if you'd like to be part of a program like this with a financial offering or donations, and folks, it does take uh, 
money to keep this fault vein up, you know, and keep the equipment that we got. And we we had to get more equipment every now and then to replace what we got. And believe me, they don't give it to us. And we, but with you, we we're, we're making it. We we're making it, and we're getting out there with you. And uh, if you continue to help us, we can stay on longer. But we can keep adding and making things better and doing more as we get the finances in here to do it with. And here's our at mailing address. If you'd like to become a partner in helping us keep this kind of program on air and letting go and letting God and having people calling in here and, and telling them what God is doing for them, you can send your donations to Alan Presley, 611 Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Lady Presley over here typing up stuff now, so uh, she's at work. And, and, and not only, folks, you don't just come in here, play two hours of gospel music, and say, well, it's over with. No, it's not. We There's music comes in here, you have to download it. Even those, those announcements that you hear are people calling here, we call them radio liners. That has to be downloaded. Sometimes it's literally hard work getting that to the DJ list where we can use it on the radio and out here on Facebook too. And it, it, it's a lot of work behind the scenes to bring a program like this. And you'd, you'd have to be here to know the story. But we're glad to do it. We love doing it because we're trying to do something to help change this world and get people back to God. So if you like to be part of it, you can send donations to Alan Presley, 611, Old Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Now we're going to get on and continue our program tonight. About 13 more minutes left. It's almost 48, uh, 947, almost, uh, yeah, 948 now. But we're going to get on and listen to some great gospel music. Here's the King family. Take a listen.
tonight will be Tim and Missy Kitchen of Chronicles. So you don't want to miss Tim and Missy, man. They've been here live on the program, and man, they've always knocked a home Grand Slam home run every time they ever been here and call in anything. They'll be calling guests tomorrow night from down there in good old Louisiana. We got coming up to sing Knoxville's own Southern Gospel Quartet from right up here in Knoxville, Tennessee, and they're going to sing, I Just Want to Thank You, Lord. Take a listen. <laughs> Who's for 
There's a beautiful song Mom has always sang. We ask her to prepare it for this recording. We've asked for it night after night. Yet Barbara Spencer and I stand on this beautiful song. She's 
And folks, we've had a great time right here on Alan Presley's Promotions on this Sunday night. Tomorrow night, we have as a guest, Tim and Missy Kitchen. they known as Chronicles. And folks, they are great. They love the Lord. And they from down there in the state of Louisiana around that area, around Baton Rouge, I think, down pretty close to there. Anyway, they've been here live, and we're looking forward to maybe one day getting them back here. Man, they always do a great job. They love the Lord, and, and they're great Christian people, and we're looking forward to hearing from them tomorrow night again. And Tuesday night, we will have Earl King of the King family. Earl King with a King family. Yeah. Hey, he might show up someday, and I would get to eat dinner with another king, wouldn't I? Right. Man, we, we're glad to have the king family. He's going to be here. I'm going to be calling in. We wish he'd come here on Tuesday night. Man, God God just recently blessing us, folks, and it's all God that does this, and we look forward to uh, all of you being back again tomorrow night. Advertiser program. Tell people about it. Get people on here because we want to share Jesus with them. And, man, we've had a good time tonight, good Sunday night. You'll see this come out on YouTube for long and share the YouTube thing. And we're just glad to be here, glad to have you. Man, I can't say enough how proud we are to have everybody on the program. And we like to say this. May we all take a liking to that great God that loved us and sent his son to die for our sins that we can have life and have it more abundantly. And God go with you until we meet again. And folks, let me encourage you. If you're not a Christian, why don't you give your life to God tonight? I'd be scared to death. I'd go to sleep and not wake up. And I'd be lost without Jesus. I pray every night to God, every day and night. I pray, oh Lord, help me. I don't, I'm scared of hell. I'm scared of death. I don't want to go ever go to that place. I don't want you to go there because it'd be torture and you'd be unwanted. We love you. Appreciate you. If you need us, get a hold of us. We'll catch you all later. From now, me and the whole crew, what lady? Who, who is hell made for? Who? Who is hell made for? The devil and his angels. The devil and his angels. It wasn't even made for you. Like Linda said, hell was made for the devil and his angels. If you go there, you go as an intruder, right? Right. You, you go there, intruder. You won't even be welcome there. And that's all hell's made for, the devil and his angels. So why don't you turn away from him? Quit honoring the devil. And don't pat him on the back no more and just come on to Jesus. Cross over that fence and come to the Lord tonight. I'm serious, folks. I wouldn't go to, I wouldn't even lay down and go to sleep if I wasn't a Christian. I'd be afraid. I'd be scared. We gotta get out of here, Linda. God bless you, everybody. See you tomorrow night. Good Lord will and the creek don't rise. We'll see. You. Good night, folks.